If you don't know me, my name is Tim Lemons. Uh, we've been here at UBC since the fall of 1998. Through that 24 years, I've worn many hats here at UBC. It's truly our home. My first impressions of Make Him Known were very positive. I felt like we were doing many things right uh, with the approach we had uh, to uh, build the new worship center. I was especially pleased to see that we were also doing more than just building the worship center. Uh, I was glad to see that we were specifically focusing on missions as well. Our challenge, uh, like so many other retired uh, folks was, we don't have a weekly paycheck coming in any longer, but we still wanted to participate and give as we could. Pat and I just started to pray and ask the Lord's leading. One day at the beginning of this effort, I was having lunch with Pastor Jason. I was telling Jason, Pat and I just don't have the income any longer because we're retired and uh, we rely primarily on savings. So I said, our weekly income is not that much, but we're praying to find out how God would lead us into the Make Him Known initiative. About two weeks after the lunch with Jason, we received a a letter in the mail said that Basil Lemons from Wetzel County, West Virginia, had oil, gas, and mineral rights that his three heirs inherited. A mining company now wanted to lease this land and drill on it. That was me. The more I looked at this, the more I was convinced this was legitimate. You see, Basil Lemons was my grandfather, and he was from Wetzel County, West Virginia. I, I probably spent about a week researching it. Pretty hot and heavy. And then I went to school to be a lawyer for about another two weeks. <laughs> the light bulb uh, was clearly on, though, that it was definitely legitimate, completely. It's just a really, really weird thing to come out of nowhere after two more generations that we want to drill on this. The larger majority of it we are going to get to make him know. We just knew it instantly that that was God's will, and that's where we've been praying about, and he answered the prayer. Here you go. We just want to see UBC continue to grow and to bless others, hopefully generation after generation. As we continue to grow, we can be a, a much bigger church in the community. We can reach out more with all these facilities. The spirit of Christian love, I think that is so unique at UBC. I know I'm biased, but I just think it's so different than any other church I've ever experienced. And honestly, that's why I think we've stayed here all these years.